Hi, how are you? In this video, I'm going to show you the most amazing ways that you can farm for elixir and gold at Town Hall 11. And we're getting started right now. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another video. Today, we are looking at a really awesome farming video. This is a farming slash just a dark armies video. Because have you ever run into a situation where you basically have maxed out your heroes, you've maxed out your troops, and you don't need any dark elixir? I have a lot of different accounts. I farm a lot of them. I have like 13 plus accounts. So with that being said, a lot of them are maxed as far as heroes and troops, right? Most of the time, what ends up happening at Town Hall 11 on, for me anyway, the wall grind is so huge. Most of the time I max out my troops, I max out my heroes because the hero levels aren't that big of a bump, right? And then I usually just need elixir, whether it's for my Grand Warden because that's an extra hero that you get at Town Hall 11, or it's for my walls at the end of the day. I max out my troops and all that stuff, so I need walls and usually I use elixir for that, right? Now, as far as gold goes, you can use these strategies, of course, to gather gold as well because you can use any strategy to gather gold because it does not cost anything you know it doesn't cost you any um any gold to cook the troops so whether you use the elixir regular elixir troops which by the way i'll link in at the end of this video i have a great video for that if you wanted to use that to grab yourself any dark elixir or regular gold i have a video for that one i'll i'll, I'll match that in the description at the end of the of the video in the loot card over there and i am going to also show you this one right here this is a variation of that that's going to allow you to basically farm elixir a regular elixir and gold as, as we talked about so these strategies are all dark armies that i use for my farming i love these attacks because they're so op they're so awesome to use most of the time you don't really get to use all dark armies right but this is what we're going to do today today i'm going to show you two different ways you can farm with all dark armies at town hall 11 these are my favorite attacks i'll show you how to use them because i'm going to make a live hits right here on screen with you so let's get started let's get into the first attack so what is this first attack that i'm going to talk to you about this op attack that i like to use at town hall 11 to smash bases you know and get extract as much elixir as i can of course with some gold right to max to max out my walls well this first army is one of my favorite ways to go but i'm going to use of course no regular elixir right so no regular elixir used whatsoever that's going to be eight earthquake spells that's really awesome because you can use four and four four to open up one side of the base so four to open up another and basically just let your troops walk right in you got three ice golems that serves as one a really awesome tanking troop two it gives you a free spell right so that's something that you don't have to use your regular elixir for and is great great way to harm for it so that's gonna be my front my tanks i'm gonna have my valks and my bowlers behind those are gonna be my pushing troops in right behind the ice columns along with the heroes i'm gonna have the hoggets come in as reinforcements because i love to use them from the sides especially in the places where i don't open with my earthquake spells and then the minions are there for cleanup of course i have one poison spell in case i need to take care of some pesky you know clan castle troops or maybe a hero or something like that and uh, we have two skeleton spells to reach any of the walls or any of the basically defenses that that where i can't you know i can't reach with my with my earthquake spells or maybe the rest of my troops i like to use those those two they're really actually nice it's a really nice reinforcement especially like for defenses that are shooting at your troops it's really really nice to put uh to put those down so that's what i like to do there as far as my clan castle most of the time i do not use a clan castle or a wall record for, for any kind of farming uh, attacks it's just i don't do that because well it's farming right you don't really need to and as far as my grand warden i usually have him on not usually in this case specifically i definitely have him on ground you want to do that and my troops you know are maxed out but really you can use this attack with any troops just make uh, with any heroes just make sure that your heroes are going to the center portion of the base so the whole idea here is with this attack anyway you want to make sure that you kind of enter into the base, smash into the base kind of with your valves and everything else right you, you obviously want to create a little bit of a funnel 
tunnel and then use your earthquake spells to open the base up and go right now i'm going to show you this attack live we're going to make an attack together and then i'm going to show you my next attack that i use which is a really awesome one as well it's brewing up right now as you can see on the top we're ready to go we are good so let's get going let's get into the first attack all right live hits on air let's see if we can do this so we're going to find a base that is of course not upgrading right we want to make sure that we get something that is uh, you know semi full strength because that's very important and then we also want to make sure it has something that has a lot of loot even though i don't need loot because well i'm maxed but like for example this right here this is five thousand five thousand elixir okay so let's do this so how would we do this right so we're gonna oh, use earthquake spells to open the base up to make sure that we get in there and then afterwards just funnel everything in which side do we want to come in from let's see i would say we come in from this side right here we got the single inferno this got the multi inferno hmm you know what let's come in from this side I can take the earthquake spell, so that is gonna be one, two, three, four. And open this side up, and then I'm gonna take this side, and you're gonna go the same thing. That's one, two, three, four. And open up this side right here. So now the base kind of is basically opened up and ready to go. We're gonna take our do, 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 do. create a small little funnel i like to do that i like to create a little bit of a funnel so i'm gonna go ice golem ice golem and then basically go like one valk one valk right on the side and a couple of minions i just like to do that and then we're gonna send in the queen we're gonna send in the second ice golem we're gonna send in all of our bowlers and our valks behind with the grand warden because we want to make sure that we survive that first hit i want to pop the grand warden on the first hit Looks like we don't want to put a little poison down action right here and then make sure that I want to get this and get this eagle artillery going. So I want to send in my skeletons right here. As far as my yeah, almost there, here we go. So the hogs come in from the side as reinforcements. I usually like to get them in right here from the sides to get the defenses that are kind of pesky and shooting at the rest of my attack. So the hogs will come in right here and should be able to get these out. And then I have a bunch of minions to basically come start from behind the hogs and make sure that I get them out. As far as my troops, look, they're going in. Most of them are getting right into the core of the base and getting all of the things that I need out. All right, and let's start with a few minions right here right on the side so we don't lose any time. Let them get going here. All right. My Grand Warden is doing really well. It's like acting as a small little healer and it really is like a nice push, right? This attack, if you notice, I didn't use my Clan Castle troops or anything like that. And I really got into the base. Why? I mean, it's slower because there's no rage spells. That's one of the things people maybe can get off a little bit. Like it can throw you off a little bit because normally, right? You would say in the, the Valk's in and then you just rage them and they go crazy and just blast everything through. You gotta slow down just a little bit because when you're using Earthquake, especially eight of them, right? You're not, and, and you can't use rage right because you're using all dark troops it's a little bit slower but either way what it's going to end up doing it's going to end up opening the base up for you enough for your troops to just kind of walk through your ice golems do enough damage enough tanking and then they do enough freezing double up as a freeze spell to give your troops enough time to kind of push through and clean out what you need the key defenses and they are going to pummel you you know and that's what's happening in this case and the minions are behind as you notice they're just cleaning up and getting me the rest of the loot that i need and that's it that's how this attack works it's really nice it's very very fun to use i don't use it all the time but but really when you want to like max out your walls and you don't need any dark elixir this is a beast attack it's really good to use for trophy pushing as well because you can get into town hall 12s very nicely with this attack as well and just take it down town hall and get to 50 percent so as you know it's right here 100 percent. we get all the dark elixir that we need we don't need <laughs> we get all of the regular elixir and gold that we do need plus the bonus so really nice attack i hope this one works for you let's move on to the next one let me show you the next really fun attack that i like to use when i have a whole bunch of dark elixir all right all right so here we go here is the next army that i'm going to be attacking with this is another one of my favorites of course so what's the configuration almost the same thing except for instead of the valks we're going to bring in witches right there's going to be four ice golems i'm bringing two valks for actually cleanup the two not just for cleanup actually for a little bit of a funnel right you want to make sure that you get your witches and your bowlers behind the ice columns into the base you want to use your eight earthquake spells to open it up you're going to use the same thing poison to kill the clan castle if needed two um ice 
use two skeleton spells to reach the defenses that you can't if you need to and then everything else is going into the base and that's what we're going to do right now i'm going to show you how this one works right here it's a really good army i really like to use this super fun so let's find a base that is of course one is full strength and two has a lots of loot this looks like a good one it's four thousand dark elixir let's see is he upgrading anything where are his infernos where are his infernos where are his infernos he doesn't have infernos and he doesn't have any artillery come on guy do people still engineer why what if he was still engineer? Do you realize that it's actually hurting your clan if you're engineering? If you're one of those guys, you shouldn't be doing that. It's not a good idea. Did, no, not very good. Base or <laughs> a lot of loot. 5,000 is pretty good, but not a lot of regular. I mean, mm, not bad. Not bad. You got 5,000. So that's enough immediately to showcase this attack so what do we do here we have eight earthquake spells right so we're gonna want to open this base up to make sure that we let our um our witches in all right so where are we gonna open this base up from we want to come in from the eagle artillery side we want to come in from the other side i mean it really it depends i like to come in from the eagle artillery side but in this case i can go one two three four right here and then open up this side we're going one two three four right here and this entire base is pretty much opened up for my ice golems and stuff so that way i'll be able to let's say send in one and two ice golems right and then one and two valks and then send in some some minions right here to make sure that i isolate and then i can able at that point to be able to send everything else in and then send my witches in along with my my bowlers and then of course the, the grand warden behind i want to make sure i try to make sure at least some of the troops if not all of them go into the base versus out i'm going to rage my king to make sure that that happens and make sure that when he goes in i am going to pop my grand warden i'm going to poison right here because as you can see those pesky little clan castle troops are not going to do very well for me my troops are kind of splitting which is not good I'm going to save my little skeleton spells because I want to make sure that I get this right here, this awesome dark elixir that I'm that I came here for. So the eagle artillery is still pounding on the troops, but the ice golems are doing their job. If you notice, they're just like freezing and freezing and freezing. It's extra freeze spells. It's really awesome to get this. So we're gonna do just that. Look, my freeze spells are over. I still have my queen ability and we're moving into the base the final inferno goes down my queen is getting pummeled saving those skeleton spells what am i saving them for for like places like right here look like right here my queen is not going to be able to get this little archer tower right by my head so i'm going to send in the skeleton skills to take them down and that's kind of what happened here right that's what i'm that's what it's really used for to extract as much else <laughs> As much as elixir and everything else as I can. So, I'm not going to use my clan castle. I'm not going to use my wall wrecker. I mean, yeah, if I did, I probably would have taken this, this base down. But it really costs 100,000 gold, you know, for somebody to cook it. So, I'm not going to do that. My skeleton spells right here, those little guys are still going. Let me just zoom in here and show you. Now, look, look at them. They're angry. They're mad. They got a whole bunch of, they got a whole bunch of shields. And they're moving. I love these guys. They're so funny. So they're gonna run around and uh, try to give me a little bit more hopefully they come down right to this defense right over here there's some juicy elixir and stuff make a little more yeah look at them they're running on one of the skeletons though look he lost they lost a little yeah they lost a little shields ah skellies look at this little army of angry skeletons they're gonna keep it going unless there's a wizard to ah oh, mortar was it a mortar or bomb <laughs> they all died Ah, uh, it was a mortar. Poor little skeletons. But we got most. <laughs> we got most. That's pretty good. All right. So I just showed you uh, two different ways that you can farm with a dark elixir, right? For something that, let's say, regular elixir of gold, for upgrading your walls, for just having a good time, for showing you a really awesome attack. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you, you found it useful and I hope you learned something from it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, folks, because I'm going to have so much more stuff like that coming for you. Farming, trophy pushing, regular war attacks, base building, regular series as how to clash collaborations all day long here at the Scrappy Academy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you check out this video right here. This is a really cool one and I'll see you there.